Assessment of Higher Mental Functions Anatomy of the brain It consists of frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, cerebellum, and the brainstem. Levels of consciousness Alert, lethargy, obtended, stupor, and coma. Consciousness Consciousness reflects the capacity of an individual state of awareness and responsiveness to his own body as well as to the external environment. Levels of consciousness Alert Conscious Appearance of wakefulness, awareness of the self and environment. Lethargy In lethargy, person's level of arousal is diminished. Mild reduction in alertness Obtended Moderate reduction in alertness, increased response time to stimuli. Stufer, deep sleep. Patient can be aroused only by vigorous and repetitive stimulation. Returns to deep sleep when not continuously stimulated. Coma, unconsciousness, sleep-like appearance and behaviorally unresponsive to all external stimuli. The Glasgow Coma Scale is scored between 3 and 15, 3 being the worst and 15 being the best. It is composed of three parameters, eye-opening response, which ranges from 4 to 1, spontaneously to speech to pain nor, and no response. Verbal response ranges from 5 to 1, oriented to time, person, and place, confused, inappropriate words, incomprehensible sounds, and no response. Motor response ranges from 6 to 1, obeys command, moves to localized pain, flex to withdraw from pain, abnormal flexion, abnormal extension, and no response. A score of 13 or higher indicates mild brain injury, a score of 9 to 12 indicates moderate brain injury, and a score of 8 or less represents severe brain injury. Cognition Cognition is divided into orientation, attention, and memory. Orientation is the ability to comprehend and adjust himself and herself with regard to time, place, and person. Time. What day, month, season, or year is it? What is the time? Place. Where are you? What city or state are we in? What is the name of this place? Person. What is your name? Where were you born? How old are you? What is the name of your wife or husband? Findings are documented in record as patient is alert and oriented times three, which is time, place, person, oriented times two, person and place, depending on the domains correctly identified. Attention. Attention is directly of consciousness to a person thing, perception or thought. It depends on the capacity of the brain to process information from the environment to form long-term memory. Attention. It is divided into sustained, selective, alternative, and divided. Selective attention can be examined by asking the patient to attend a particular task. Sustained attention is examined by determining how long the patient is able to maintain attention on a particular task. Example of sustained attention may include listening to a lecture or reading a book, etc. Alternating attention, it is the capacity to move flexibly between tasks and respond appropriately to the demand of each task. It is examined by requesting the patient to alternate back and forth between two tasks. Example, add the first two pair of numbers, then subtract the next two pair of numbers. Divided attention, it is the capacity to respond simultaneously to two or more tasks. It is examined by asking the patient to perform two tasks simultaneously. Example, person talks while walking, walkie-talkie test, driving and listening to music at the same time, cooking while talking to a friend. Simultaneously performing multiple activities such as talking on the phone, surfing the internet. Memory. It is a process of registration, retention, and recall of past experiences, knowledge, and ideas. Memory. It is divided into immediate memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Immediate memory. 
It is the immediate registration and recall of information after an interval of few seconds. Example, repeat after me. Short-term memory, it is the capability to remember current day-to-day -day events. Example, what was eaten in breakfast? Long-term memory, the recall of facts or events that occurred years before. Example, birthday. Behavior. Observe the patient's mannerisms, speech, interest in the conversation, etc. Depression, confused, irritable, over-anxious, tense, crying, shy, fearful, friendly, etc. Hearing. Observe patient's response to the conversation. Whispering one meter from each ear can be used to compare hearing on both sides. Tuning fork can be used to examine and compare air conduction hearing and bone conduction hearing. Speech. Abnormality in speech needs to be considered first as this may interfere with the rest of the examination. Abnormality may include aphasia, which is problem in understanding thoughts and word findings, dysphonia, which is problem in voice production, dysarthria, which is difficulty in articulation. Aphasia is the general term used to describe and acquire communication disorder characterized by an impairment of language comprehension, formulation, and use. It is a language disorder. Fluent aphasia Vernix or sensory. Speech flows smoothly with variety of grammatical constructions. Preserved melody of speech. Auditory comprehension is impaired. Patient demonstrates difficulty in comprehending spoken language and following commands. Non-fluent aphasia. Brocas or expressive aphasia. Flow of speech is slow and hesitant. Vocabulary is limited. Speech production is labored or lost. Comprehension is good. Global aphasia. Severe aphasia is characterized by marked impairment of both production and comprehension of the language. Indication of extensive brain damage. Dysphonia. Disturbance of voice production. Causes are local vocal cord pathology, abnormality of nerve supply, psychological disturbances. Patient is able to give his name and address, but unable to produce normal volume of sound or speaks in whisper. Dysarthria. It is a motor disorder. Voice production requires coordination of breathing, vocal cord, larynx, palate, tongue, and lips. It is of two types. First, spastic, which is weakness of tongue and muscles of lips, jaw, larynx, etc., Voice sounds force as more effort is needed. Second, flaccid. Due to pharyngeal weakness, air in the mouth leaks into the nose resulting in a nasal tone. Voice sounds hoarse and breathy.